guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here to chat about a book haul. I have not hauled books in like a month. I'm trying to keep them monthly now, but they kind of get out of hand, especially because I went to Book Bonanza over the weekend and got a lot of books. I am not going to show, like, go through every single book I bought and talk to you about them because I do that in, well, I don't really even talk about them in that video, but I have a Book Bonanza vlog that should be up already that I just finished filming for 45 minutes chatting all about it. So now I'm here to film another 30 minute video. It's going to be a lot but I'm getting my kitchen redone later this week so I need to film pre-film everything now so sorry if you see me wearing the same shirt over and over again but I have a lot to talk to you about I have this as I throw books around this stack this stack this stack this stack it's a lot I have bought a lot of books that's all I can say we're gonna get to the haul Okay, so I'm just going to run through the books that I bought at Book Bonanza. All of these I bought except for two. Two I was gifted. So the first one is A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime by Monica Murphy. I've seen so many people talk about this book and I felt like spending more of my money. I only brought $200 in cash. I was only letting myself spend that much money at the signing. So I was only buying with cash and I set my limit and I stuck with it. There's another one I won from the bookworm box. I won Lilac by B.B. Reed, a special edition. I know this is reverse harem so I picked it when I saw that it was on the shelf of books I could pick from. Very excited. I spun like a wheel and then I did get this for free for pre-ordering another book in the series by Willa Nash which is Devney Perry. Very excited. My books from that series though are a little farther down. I don't think I put them away, did I? No, they're at the bottom of the stack. I, I'm a hot mess when it comes to all these books. I was gifted across time from Elizabeth O'Rourke. She was super sweet and had set this aside for me. This is book three to the Parallel series, which I need to finish because I'm obsessed with her and I'm obsessed with her books. I also was one of the first five people to see Katherine Cowles and ask about her arc that she had that she was giving out. So she gave out five each day and it is Shattered Sea. I don't remember when this comes out. I think it comes out in September. I don't remember, but it's so pretty. Oh, I forgot to see who it's about. Lakin and Bowden. This is book four in the series. I'm currently reading book three. I'm obsessed with Katherine Cowles, so of course I had to see her. And I bought Hidden Waters in the People cover because now I have four books in the series in this cover, but I also have three books in the non-People versions. So I have these. Very, very excited to have those. I also pre-ordered this beauty that people are freaking out about. This was the box set that was on her pre-order that she had never said anything about. So Tori and I, just on a whim, decided to pre-order these. I did not pre-order the other duo duet box set for Enslaved Duet, which I should have because that's gorgeous, but I did this one. Very excited to have this to my Gianna collection. Love that. I also got Moments in Time by K.K. Allen because this is her new book and I knew she was going to be there. I saw it and I got it. And then I saw Candy Steiner. I got three books, one for a friend though, and then I got Blind Side and Fair Catch. Excited to have these in my collection. I also had to buy Between Hello and Goodbye by Emma Scott. She had a few left and Diane from That Tell Book Girl and Sam from Sam Reads a Little love this book. It was Sam's favorite of the month last year so I had to buy a copy for myself. And then the last three are all Devney Perry. I pre-ordered two in the Calamity Montana series. I always thought it said mountain. Okay, Calamity Montana. I got these two. And then I also bought Steel King from her table because Tori from Novel Life and Sam from Sam Reads a Little and I are doing a read-along for the series starting, I believe, next week. So... I wanted to buy one book for the series, even though they're all on KU right now, but they're coming out of KU on in the end of August, so I wanted to get this for our read-along. So those are all the books I picked up at Book Bonanza. That was just a quick run-through. No idea where I'm going to put any of these. So then the next few are all ones that I got for Book Bonanza. We're just gonna run through these. I decided to buy Close Quarters by Candy Steiner to bring because I have not read a lot of Candy's new stuff. And this one is a yachting one, which is really exciting because I love Below Deck and I think it's like age gap. She's got a boyfriend, so it's a little messy. I was actually sent Misfit by Elle Kennedy, so I got to bring this and have Elle sign it for me. And I was really excited to see her again and she was like a little nervous about the series and asked me to let her know how I liked it especially if I don't like it let her know she told me this was much more her Aaron Watt writing style though this is like by herself Aaron Watt is her and Jen Frederick but she said it was more like the Aaron Watt books which I was like I love 
love those books anyways. And her favorite Erin Watt is my favorite Erin Watt, When It's Real. I love that book so much. And so she said this was like that. And this one is prep school and there are there's drama. So the mom married some rich dude. It kind of sounds like the royals kind of like vibes from Erin Watt. So um, she is the headmaster's daughter in Off Limits. Her ex-boyfriend kills someone? I don't know. This Okay, well, I'm going to read this very, very soon. So super excited to have that. And I also ended up buying Say You Swear by Megan Brandy. I wanted to see Megan Brandy and have a book signed by her, and I was more interested in her sports romances. And Sam from Sam Reads a Little really enjoyed this one. So I took her recommendation. Very long, but I am excited to read that. I also, this is one book that got just a little, little, a little bent in my suitcase, which is okay. It's all right. I'm just gonna bend it back. Um, I got Catching Caden by Samantha Christie. I got to meet her and chatted with her about her sports romances, and she said she has lots of sports in her sports romances, and I was like, thank goodness, because that's what I need in my life. So I'm very excited to read this one. I know he's a baseball player, and he hits a home run and shatters someone's face who is a model, and it's their romance together. I think he, it says he shattered her face, but I am, yeah shattered her face and ruined her modeling career so he's gonna try to help her out and it sounds really cute i'm super excited it's baseball and i believe someone on instagram recommended that to me i also got the brazen and um where is it i'm just gonna grab these two so i did Target's sale. I was not going to. I was trying not to buy too much, but I bought these three. So I got Twisted Hate by Anna Huang, Wolf Gone Wild because I'm going to see Juliet Cross at a Polycon. I know this is werewolf romance. And then I have The Brazen, which is book three, I think, in the Calamity Montana series since I pre-ordered one and two. Target had this one. I can't remember what I got where. I think I actually bought Twisted Hate on Amazon. I can't remember where I bought these books now because I think the third book from the Target sale was actually the Macaulay Smeltzer. I'm pretty sure I got this one in the Target sale. I, I have bought so many books lately because Macaulay is going to be at a Polycon. So I wanted to get this. I don't know much about it. I, he's, a, oh, he's a baseball player. Okay. And it's a new adult romance. So I really enjoyed Sweet Dandelion, which speaking of, I'll go ahead and get that. The lovely Emily from uh, Instagram is Emily Wittig Designs. She actually is Macaulay Smelter's cover designer. She's been designing so, so many covers. She designs for the Bookworm Box. She designs um, Tate James books and a lot of people. So she is a very talented designer. She's one of my friends and she actually gifted me two of Macaulay's books, which I'm very, very excited for. I got to see her and hug her at Book Bonanza and she designed these. She is absolutely, absolutely talented. She designed this one too. And so uh, she completed my duet for the Wildflowers duet. And then she also gave me Sweet Dan the Lion, which is so, so sweet because I listened to the audiobook of this one and I really enjoyed it. I gave it five stars. I know that. McKay from What I Hates McKay. Love this book and so now I have it and thank you Emily for sending this to me. You are the absolute best. And now I have a ton to bring to Macaulay to sign for me when I see her at Polycon. And then for myself I ended up buying The Words and this one is a rock star romance that I know Cheyenne really loves from That Tall Book Girl and I believe Jess from Honest Fiction loves this and Tori from Novel Life finished it a couple days before our signing and she said she cried many times reading this and it's a second chance romance and I saw Ashley Jade and she was super cool. She was so pretty. Her eye makeup was fabulous and and I'm really excited to read this now. Then, uh, from a friend, from Caitlin, from The Love Librarian, she sent me a book. She did not have to, but she ended up sending me Give Me More by Sarah Kate. And this one is book three, and I believe it is the married couple whose best friend enters the picture as well. I love to praise, and I need to read the series now, books two and three. So I'm very excited for that. Then I ended up getting Waking Olivia from Hello Lovely Box. This was their trope pick of the month, like their trope box. And I love this book so, so much. This is a college running book. She is a cross country runner and she falls for her cross country coach. She has a bit of a bad past that she's kind of literally and figuratively running from. So this is a special edition cover. I love it so much. Super excited to add that to my collection. I am a rep for Hello Lovely, so I got that box for free. I also got Can't Resist Her by Kiana Alexander. I'm really excited about this one. It's sapphic, and this one says that Summer is back in Austin, Texas, accepting a new teaching position, and she's really upset because her neighborhood's changing, and the high school her grandmother founded is going to be demolished, and on the architectural team revitalizing the neighborhood is her love interest, and they had shared a kiss. 
their senior year and now they're back in each other's lives. So it sounds really good. I'm very excited to read that one. I was also... Catherine Cowles is like one of my favorite people of all time. So she is one of my favorite authors now. If you have been watching me this past year, you know I'm obsessed with her books. She ended up sending me the entirety of the Tattered and Torn series in their gorgeous other covers. She also gave me a bookmark and a sticker and I love her so much and I am just so thankful for her love as well and I am currently reading Hidden Waters and reading that on my Kindle right now because I was reading it on the plane on the way home but the this one is her dad kind of was like in a cult-ish thing and they don't let like them do anything and they don't trust doctors they don't trust people and they're very much like conspiracy theorists and he's abusive as well so she ends up turning her father in for kidnapping someone and that someone is the little sister of the hero of the book and so her family's like run out of town now she's back at her family's old property she wants to open an animal sanctuary and the hero is the police chief in town and he is angry she's back but they fall in love because someone's also trying to come after her and then the second one is about the sister of the hero and his best friend so it's a brother's best friend romance and single dad very cute and I'm currently reading this one which is the cousin of the girl in book one who was escaping an abusive household. I don't remember. Her father might not have been abusive. It might be her dad, but she came out of a very bad situation and is a roommate's romance. So excited for these. Now I remember, I remember now what was on my, <laughs> this one was the one I also got from Target. Now I don't remember what I got from that Target order. I got Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher. This one is a, the billionaire series where he helps run like a Disneyland kind of thing and he has to get married in order to get an inheritance and he marries his assistant and it's their romance. So I enjoyed this one. I gave it four stars, but I'm excited to have that on my shelves. I also pre-ordered My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey from Barnes & Noble when they were having their pre-order sale and this one is a cozy mystery bounty hunter teacher romance. It's short, it's sweet, I've heard it's really good for summer. My friends who've read it have really been enjoying it, so I'm excited to read this one. Then I was sent Fake It Till You Bake It by Jamie Wesley. This sounds so cute. So she was on a dating show and she turned down the marriage proposal and she is now working at a bakery, a cupcake bakery that is run by a professional football player. It sounds really cute. Obviously they're gonna fall in love. I can't wait to read this one. I was sent this by St. Martin's Press and it's gonna be hopefully read soon. Then I blame Tori from Novel Life for these because we bought them at the same time and this is for a polycon because Corinne Michaels was at Book Bonanza but she's also gonna be at a polycon which I'm driving to so I saved these for the one I'm driving to because I did not have room in my suitcase but I got these two from Corinne Michaels series Return to Us and A Chance for Us. I gave this one three stars. I wasn't the biggest fan but this one's a Friends to Lovers Marriage of Convenience that I'm excited for so A Chance for Us is one that I think I'll love but I I hope I'll like it better. I don't know, but I still have these. I really love these covers, so I wanted to have these to meet her. I read it after I bought it. Like, I bought it, and then I read it, and it was, it was okay, but yeah. Okay, then let's go to the stack. I got some stuff from Berkeley and Forever. The first thing, I thought I got something else from Forever. Oh, okay. Here they are. I will put these together. I got two books from Forever Romance. I got Nobody's Princess by Erica Ridley. This is book three in the series. I'm obsessed with this author and her books. And so this one is The Brother's Story, which I'm so, so excited for. So Graham is very, very intelligent. And it says that he helps people in need. That's like what his family does. He deciphers a series of coded messages in scandal sheets. And he has to help the royals. And she has, the heroine has... Um, trained along the fiercest royal guardsmen in her family. She wants to become her country's first royal guards woman and she is trying to go on this mission without the help of Graham and they fall in love. So this sounds super cute. Super excited for that. And they also sent me Always Be My Duchess by Amelie Howard. I haven't loved this author's books but we'll see if I like this one. And this says that Lord Lysander Blackstone just wants to keep his fortune. He's been betrayed many times so he just wants to hold on to his money and then heroine's a ballerina so that should be interesting i don't think i've read about a ballerina in historical i'm excited i was also sent a few from berkeley romance i think just these two um i was sent the accidental pinup and barbarian lover this is book three in the ice planet barbarian series 
I love that series so much and this one by Daniel Jackson sounds really fun so it says rival photographers are forced to collaborate on a body positive lingerie campaign and they might have to readjust their focus when sparks fly so that sounds really cute we love a good uh, workplace romance so sounds really fun very unique. I also ended up getting some more books, obviously. Um, my mom got me Captain Jack's Woman by Stephanie Lawrence. I didn't have this one, and she thought I would like it because it's pirate romance. Thanks, Mom. I also got A Matter of Temptation by Stacey Reed because of a Barnes & Noble's pre-order sale, so it arrived finally. So she spends her days secreted away at her family's crumbling estate, and her brother admits just how dire their finances are, so she has to get a job, and she decides to be the secretary to the Earl of Creswick and I guess they fall in love. Hopefully I enjoy this. I just have to read her books physically because I do not enjoy her audiobooks. Then I got the Dark and Corky box where I don't remember what the theme was but we have the Magic of Discovery by Britt Andrews. I am a rep for them but I just got this box discounted. I still paid for it. Then there's Wolf by Penelope Black and then Malice Mafia by Coralie June. This is actually a bind up of three of the books in the Malice series. I did read the uh, first book and a half so far on audio and I'm really enjoying it. I am almost done with book two and it's a reverse harem mafia romance which is really good. So excited to have these from Dark and Corky. I also have a couple in this stack from their motorcycle romance box. I did get this from Cheyenne from That Tall Book Girl. She gifted me Mr. Romance by Lisa Raven. She has been raving about this and I love Lisa Raven so I am excited to have this. He is an escort and he just goes on swoony dates and he keeps his real identity secret. And so there's an investigative journalist, Eden Tate, and she is really intrigued by this urban legend of Mr. Romance and wants to figure out who he is. And he challenges her to give him three dates. If she doesn't fall in love with him, she can run her story. So that sounds really, really fun. I am excited to read this. So thank you, Cheyenne, for getting that for me. And then at Barnes & Noble, I ended up picking up Zyla and Kai by Christina Forrest. This one is her new YA. I don't read YA a lot, but Christina Forrest is one of my favorite YA author, so I saw it and I had to buy it. I do get 20% off of Barnes & Noble as a teacher, so I wanted to get it. And so this one is interesting because they're on a school trip. They're both seniors. People think that they broke up already, but they disappear together on the school trip. And I think it's told past and present between when they were like dating and in love and when now they're on their trip. I don't know, but I had to buy it. Okay, then I will go ahead and go this. This one I opened today, actually. So Lenora Bell sent me her new release. This comes out in September, and so this is an arc of it. This is book three in her Wallflowers and Rogue series, I think, or book two. I think it's book three. Yeah, I loved the first two books so much, and I love Lenora Bell. She's a historical romance author, and more people need to read. So this one says, ooh, he's scarred by a dark secret, the Duke of Westbury, so he has to support his five younger sisters and I believe he gambled away his money so he has to marry for money and Viola's not an heiress she's a music instructor to his sisters and she really loves his sisters and she is wildly attracted to him uh, a class difference romance where he has to marry wealthy but falls for someone not wealthy? Yes, please. And she also sent some, like, MAC lipstick and a magnet and a glasses cloth and some bookmarks. So thank you so much to Lenora Bell for sending this my way. Super excited for this. I will have to post about that on Instagram. I also ended up getting The Bride Goes Rogue by Joanna Shoup from Avon. This one is, that's a publisher. This is one of my favorite romances of the year for historical romances. And I just really love this one. It is a marriage of convenience, but he says he's never going to marry her. So she's like, fine, I'll go off and live my life the way I want to. And they end up falling in love. And he's very grumpy and it's so good. I really liked that one. And then I was also sent a Vivian Lorette. So I was sent How to Steal a Scoundrel's Heart. I don't know what this one's about. It says a determined debutante discovers that making a deal with a notorious rake might get her in trouble. So she's a ruined debutante. So she's ousted from society. That's sad. She's Prudence. I don't think I've read a heroine named Prudence before. She'll do anything to take back what's hers, even if she has to steal it. She accepts a scandalous offer and discovers there's more to the scoundrel than meets the eye. 
This sounds fun. I really want to read more from her, though I remember one of my friends thinking the dog looked really weird on the cover. I don't think it's photoshopped that well, but that's okay. Then I was sent an arc of Lily Archer's new release. So this is A Land of Never and Night. I believe this is a Peter Pan retelling, which is really cool, and this is actually really short. So I am excited. I read one of her books in her, yeah, Faye's Captive I read, which is like a bunch of like short books that are all in a series. So it kind of feels like serialized books, but this sounds really cool. It says that it's the story of Peter Pan was passed through her family and she's kidnapped by Peter Pan. So I think it's like a darker Peter Pan retelling. I don't know. I'm excited. I haven't read too much Peter Pan stuff. So then from Forever Romance, I was sent an arc of the hookup plan by Farrah Roshan. Cover's gorgeous. I love the color schemes going on. Purple's my favorite. And she is a pediatric surgeon. And her, what she really needs is a casual hookup. Is this book three? I feel like I've heard about her. Yeah, okay, so the Boyfriend Project, the Dating Playbook, they're a group of friends. I, I was like, I remember her character. So she decides to have a fun night with no strings, and it's at her high school reunion with a millionaire who is her arch nemesis, and so they end up hooking up, and a enemies with benefits situation. So it sounds really fun. I'm very excited to have that. And then I got the Dark and Corky Motorcycle Romance box. I got the Inked and Lies copy, which I've already put away up there because it's too pretty. And I brought it to my signing and immediately put it away when I got home from the signing. But then we have Hostile Saint by India R. Adams. And then we have Making the Cut by Anne Malcolm. These three came in it, Inked and Lies, and then these. And then we're supposed to get Kinetic by Runix, but Amazon has been holding her release hostage for like months and we just got an update from Dark and Corky that it is going to be shipping over the next few weeks. So that's exciting. We're gonna get that. And then I was sent from Sourcebooks the entire series from Amanda Boucher. So I have the gorgeous new covers of A Promise of Fire which I read and gave five stars. Such a good fantasy romance. He kidnapped her and like literally magically chains her to him. We have Breath of Fire and then we have Heart of Fire and they're like the super floppy gorgeous paperbacks. And then I got an arc of the new book which is coming out in October and it is A Curse of Queens and this actually follows new characters but I think I have to read the other two books before I get to this one. So um, this says that there have been centuries of conflicts but the three kingdoms are finally united and the queen has been cursed so she wants to help. She's the king's younger sister and a gifted healer. So she wants to find Cersei's garden, which is an island where she hopes to discover an antidote for this curse on the queen. And obviously there's gonna be a romance. Ooh, she needs the strong arm and unflinching bravery of the warrior she's loved since childhood. Her brother's right-hand man. So it's a brother's best friend romance. I'm excited for this. Glad I have an early copy and I will definitely be getting to that. And then I just have three books left. I have One for the Money by Sky Warren. I was sent this from Dangerous Press and I'm really interested in reading Sky Warren now because I saw her on a panel and she was really fun. So this one says that this hero is from a wealthy family running a billion dollar corporation. The heroine and him, fake date. So it's a fake dating romance. It's pretty short too, so I definitely want to get to that. Then the Hello Lovely box, their Trope of the Month box, also had a different one. I don't remember which month was which. I think this one was the May box. This is the Hitman by Katrina Jackson. I love this series, so I like freaked out when Becca told me that this was going to be in the box. And it's mafia romance. It's really good. She just got dumped and figured out that her fiancé was cheating on her, actually, the night before their wedding. She goes on their honeymoon anyways and meets a Hitman, and they have fallen in love and they're running away together so it's really good and then I was gifted this from Tori she uh, congratulated me on hitting 62,000 on YouTube so she got me Between Wrath and Mercy by Jess Wisecup this is a fantasy romance my sister is currently reading it she's almost done and she's really enjoying it I know that Tori already read it and she really enjoyed it so I'm excited to get to it I really need to read more fantasy romance and I'm hoping to read more this month but I have so much to read so hopefully I'll get to that but that's my haul I had a lot of books to share with you. I think this is the most I've ever bought in one book haul before, so I need to stop buying books for a while. But I have a Polycon at the end of this month, so I might be buying a little bit more. I don't know. I don't know. I you only live once, right? I'm just going to run out of room in my library. But those are all the books that I got. Let me know if you've read any of these and what you're excited for me to read. I would love to hear. And that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.